Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety, and panic attacks. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. And you can support this free service by going to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland and the links on my website if you wish. Just to let you know that all of my recordings are now advert free, so there's no adverts on anything. And uh, there are over 1,500 recordings on my website. Uh, and they've been produced since 2006 so there's quite a few bits and bobs there so this is going to be recording uh, it's going to be a relaxation recording so I'm not going to be talking lots about any specific thing it's going to be solely solely based on calming your mind solely based on calming your mind so I'd like you to get yourself into a comfortable position maybe sitting down in a chair making sure that the chair supports your body so if you was to become maybe fall asleep or something that you wouldn't fall out of the chair make sure it's got sides on the chair also you know there's a chance if you lie down listening to this you may fall asleep because if I lie down recording this I would fall asleep so you'd have about five minutes of me talking and then you'd just hear snoring for the next four hours which may be funny for the first ten, ten minutes but <laughs> you know my snoring is not conducive to falling asleep or relaxation even so that's why I always generally sit up when I do a relaxation session and I generally sit up when I'm listening to one unless you know I want to fall asleep so I'd like you to get in touch with how you physically feel just by doing a short body scan Notice how now the different body parts are feeling right now. Starting at the top of your head, your forehead, and just being aware of it. If there's stress in your forehead, you're not trying to get rid of it during the body scan. You just you're just noticing it. You're giving it attention which is something sometimes all that that body part needs from you is attention and then it might just reduce that stress anyway by letting go So you focus now on your eyes, your eyelids, just noticing the muscles around your eyes, you know, underneath your eyes, the corners, that part, you know, between your eyelids and your eyebrows. What I like to do is lift my eyebrows up and down a bit, like I'm doing a little wiggly worm. 
eyes because it stretches my eyes my eyes my eyelids also stretches my forehead as well and you can notice how your cheekbones feel as you move across your face down to your lips being aware of how your mouth feels again not trying to change how you feel just being aware not focusing in intensely on any particular part just an overall observation moving down to your jaw just notice the whole feeling from the bottom of your jaw moving up to your ears that whole area and then maybe noticing your ears which can often be a part that's left out of body scans yet the ears are so important so important so you can give your ears a little bit of attention just notice how they feel and you can move from each ear backwards to the back of your head just notice the back of your scalp as it moves down to the back of your neck just being aware of the back of your neck and maybe there's some stress held there I tend to hold stress in the back of my neck sometimes and you can move out to your shoulders being aware of your shoulders and your shoulder blades just that general area of your shoulders moving down each arm down the upper arm the elbow forearms and wrists and then just moving your observation to your hands the backs of your hands your fingers the palms of your hands you may choose to just move your fingers around very gently noticing how your hands feel now moving back up to your throat just below your chin your throat and your neck front of your neck and the sides of your neck as it moves down to your chest past your collarbone to your chest and noticing as you move past your diaphragm your stomach across your ribs and down into your abdominal region moving down just above where your hips begin as you notice where your hips begin you can you can focus on either side of your hips 
in that that area before the hips actually start the sides of your body and you can notice how that feels as you move up your body all the way up to your armpits and you start to notice the area just below the back of your neck spreading all the way down your back The sounds of the wind outside can actually be a nice little accompaniment, almost nature's music. As you focus on your back, those muscles. All the way down, all the way down, to your lower back where the hips begin. And because this is such a large area, you can maybe Scan it again, starting from the bottom of your back and moving all the way up to where the back of your neck is. Just noticing how your back feels. And this time moving down again from the back of your neck all the way down your spine focusing on how your spine feels each side of your spine of all those muscles all those connections almost like you're sliding down your own spine gently all the way down to your lower back just being aware of how your spine feels Just give one last bit of attention to your lower back. Just noticing any changes that may have occurred, may have occurred during this time that you have been observing your back. As you now move into your hips, noticing your buttocks and the feelings, the muscles, just being aware as you change your focus to the sides of your hips moving around to your groin area just being aware of the whole muscular skeletal as well as muscular part of your hips, that skeletal part, 
the part that we've always seen on skeletons, the part that's between the upper body and the legs, because your hips are used so often. It's nice to give them a bit of love, a bit of attention. As you now focus on your legs, starting a course where they begin the very tops of your legs, your inner thigh, the front of your thigh, the backs of your thighs, and the sides, the outer sides of your thighs. So many muscles, big bones, big muscles. And just noticing that general area. As you move down towards your knee, on each knee you focus on, you can just be aware of the physical sensations that you are experiencing in your knees at this moment. As those feelings that you focus on are now your calf muscles. And maybe you wish to move up again to the backs of your knees where your legs crease when you bend your legs. Perhaps this is a part that's often ignored so maybe you'd like to just focus on that for a few seconds in on your calf muscles, it's almost like you can outline your calves, you can almost see them in your eye, in your mind, You're just being aware of how they feel. Tension moves to the fronts of your legs, the shins of your lower legs. Just being aware of the heaviness of those bones in your legs. you move down to your ankles, that part that connects your feet to your legs, and the ankles are so strong, they do such a valuable job. I think maybe sometimes we forget how valuable our ankles really are. So you can 
just focus for a short while on your ankles. Noticing how they feel. As you move down and part of your ankles, it's kind of quite fleshy, sensitive parts, maybe the very back of your ankles that leads to your heels. Just being aware of those parts. feels like the ankles are actually part of the foot as it just joins so smoothly into the tops of your feet noticing how the tops of your feet feel the tops of your feet lead to your toes. Each toe an individual part of your body. Each one just as important as the next. As you just focus on each of those toes one by one. And now focusing on the bottoms of your feet. feels gentle but also tough at the same time the skin on the bottoms of your feet are full of nerve endings full of pleasure Experience that pleasure in your feet when you're not using them. When you're just sitting there or lying down on your bed, your feet relax completely. You can almost feel your feet winding down, relaxing gradually. You've got the sides of your feet feels nice to focus on that part and the inner part of your feet the outer part of your feet maybe a, a part that we don't normally give much attention to. I think it's sometimes a case of 
our toes get the special treatment when it comes to our feet but the whole of our feet are equally as important scan just noticing how your body feels we can now turn our focus onto our mind noticing how your mind just how little is actually going on in your mind at this time Just imagine that whatever thoughts, whatever stresses may be in there, they may be hiding. So you can have a special torch, a special flashlight. You can shine around your mind and it shows these little bits of stress, little bits of anxiety that are no longer necessary. And it not only shows up those, those feelings, but it also eliminates them. So as soon as they show up, they disappear. As soon as any feelings other than comfort arise in your mind, they disappear. disappears and you can observe your mind just observe it observe any thoughts that arise Yeah. 
just allow them to disappear allow them to disappear and it's your mind automatically do this process for you which allows you a little bit of time to go back down your body using that special light or flashlight to detect any remaining particles of stress in your body and as soon as it's detected it disappears as soon as it's detected it disappears starting with your forehead Noticing any feelings there that need to disappear and allow those to disappear naturally as you scan your face and your jaw with that light that lets you know if there's any tension that needs to disappear automatically moving down the back of your neck Zooming in on any particular feelings and allowing it to disappear automatically. As you move down your throat and your neck, your chest and your stomach, the whole of your front of your body, zooming in on any particular feeling, and allowing it to disappear. As you notice the whole of your back, from the top of your back all the way down your spine to your lower back and all those muscles that lead to the sides of your back being aware of any feelings and focusing on those particular sensations Disappear automatically. Disappear automatically. to 
notice the feelings in the tops of your shoulders moving all the way down your arms into your hands and your fingers noticing any feelings of discomfort focusing in and allowing that feeling to just disappear automatically noticing the whole area of your hips being aware of any sensations to be removed and you can just focus on that particular physical feeling and allow it to disappear automatically disappear automatically you lastly focus on your legs moving all the way down past your knees and your ankles into your feet and your toes being aware feelings that you wish to remove and you can focus those feelings and allow them to disappear automatically
as I count down from ten down to one, your body and your mind can become ten times ten times more relaxed and with each number you hear your body and your mind will become noticeably ten times more relaxed. Now, ten, Seven. Mm -hmm. 